The most powerful entity in the Matrix is the Architect, a program that was created to shape the prison to which humanity would be subjected to. The creator of the simulation known as the Matrix and who seeks to balance its equation. The Architect was one of the few who spoke the truth to Neo, revealing to him the realities of the world. He comes from different philosophical and scientific positions which have led us to believe that maybe he was right. What if free will is a mere illusion and that all that matters is to understand the factors and variables of a phenomenon to predict its outcome? Are you willing to accept the cruel reality that the architect proposes? Welcome to Matrix Explained. the desert of the real. To understand the architect's thought process and why he could be right, we need to know what reductionism is. Reductionism is a philosophical approach in which it is believed that the reduction or simplification of different elements is necessary to solve various problems. For example, the search for a single equation that can explain our reality is an attempt at scientific reductionism. The architect uses mathematical reductionism. Reality is simply the result of mathematical factors and variables. Please. You and I may not be able to see beyond our own choices, but that man can't see past any choice. Why not? He doesn't understand them. He can't. To him, they are variables in an equation. One at a time, each variable must be solved and counted. That's his purpose to balance the equation. But is the architect right and the reality of the universe can be reduced to numbers? Albert Einstein once said, the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. Something that has amazed scientists for thousands of years is that through mathematics, we can understand how our reality works. This comprehensibility of the universe is what makes it possible to explain our world. The more we understand our reality, the less room we leave for mystery and superstition. Take for example, the Egyptian sun god, Ra. Once upon a time, it was believed that Ra traveled to Earth every night, shining his light and allowing life on the planet to exist. Ra's power was unlimited and incomprehensible to humans. But like most phenomena in ancient times, magical beliefs were the acceptable explanation. Today we know, of course, that the Egyptians were incorrect. This sun god is nothing more than a star in the middle of our solar system that is composed of helium, oxygen, carbon, nion, and iron. And it takes 8.3 minutes for its light to reach Earth, given that it's about 150 million kilometers away and light travels at, let's just say, at a very, very fast speed. Humans managed to reduce the mystery of Ra into a scientific mathematical explanation. This, in essence, is what the architect does. For him, each action and reaction can be reduced to numbers and variables. This is thinking like a scientist. From a scientific point of view, topics such as predestination or the purpose of life are illogical. They are simply illusions that can be explained through mathematical equations. The Oracle tried to promote the idea that there is a kind of predestination and that Neo can choose the outcome of his life. However, this was a lie created by the Oracle herself. Although Neo did make his own decisions, they all led him to the expected destination. You are the eventuality of an anomaly which despite my sincerest efforts I have been unable to eliminate from what is otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision. While it remains a burden assiduously avoided, it is not unexpected and thus not beyond a measure of control, which has led you inexorably here. The architect was able to predict every possible outcome of every possible decision Neo could make and planned accordingly. He effectively reduced Neo's behavior to simple math. This is on full display on the multiple TV screens in the architect's room. Neo's thoughts are represented in each screen. The architect can't see all variables. Nothing escapes his mathematics. 
Already I can see the chain reaction. The chemical precursors that signal the onset of an emotion designed specifically to overwhelm logic and reason. An emotion that is already blinding you from the simple and obvious truth. The Oracle added different elements to the equation, such as choice and emotions. If there is one thing that escapes the architect's mathematical reductionism, it's human emotions. That is precisely why he allows the oracle to modify the equation. The architect cannot fully understand human irrationality, so he turns to the oracle who is capable of understanding them, which benefits and improves the equation. Both programs working together can reduce human emotions such as love to numbers and mathematical factors. The fact that the architect has not been able to fully understand humanity is something that many viewers of the films don't seem to realize. With the help of the intuitive program, which operates on human irrationality, the architect can compensate for what he lacks and reduce our entire existence to mathematics. In the end, the Oracle seeks peace and a truce with the humans. The architect promises that he will free those who wish to leave the Matrix but not before asking a very important question. Just how long do you think this peace is going to last? As long as it can. <laughs> what about the others? What others? The ones that want out. Obviously, they will be freed. I have your word. What do you think I am? Human? The architect's last words to the oracle are very important. Him ironically and rhetorically asking her if she thinks he is human is him saying that he is a man of his word, so to speak. He does not need to lie to the oracle. The architect is still in control of everything. Despite the changes implemented by the oracle, he let her get away with playing her dangerous game. But in the end, the architect was right. The truce has ended. Matrix 4 proves that the truce did not last. He managed to predict the factors once again. The architect's mathematical reductionism so far has not failed, even if some things do escape his rationality. Even so, the architect remains the top program and emerged victorious, regardless of the end of the traditional Matrix cycle. But do you agree? Was the architect right because of his rationality and mathematical reductionism? Or do you think that reality cannot be fully understood using numbers? Will the architect return in Matrix 4 to gloat about how he was right? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.